Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be a uh, Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon and uh, Virgo Rising monthly tarot reading July 2019 and uh, bear with me a, a second guys to shuffle the tarot cards and uh, we're gonna go uh, straight away to the reading All right, so the first card which represents the topic for Virgo's month is going to be uh, the Five of Swords. The second card which stands for the uh, peripheral activities that Virgo can go for or they may not go for. It does depend if Virgo words, uh, find it, finds that it is worth the hassle. That will be the Nine of Swords. Followed by the third card, which stands for the challenges that Virgo needs to overcome here, we do have the Five of Pentacles. Then it is the positive aspect of the month. And that will be the Star card. Wow, quite an unexpected turn of events. Uh, then it is the, uh, the last one, which stands for the Guidance here, and we do have the Tower. All right, so once again, through the cards, guys, Five of Swords stands for the um, topic, followed by the Nine of Swords, which stands for the peripheral activities. Afterwards, we do have the Five of Pentacles, which regards to the challenges. Then it is the Star card, which stands for the positive aspect. And then the last one that we do have, it is the Tower, which regards to the guidance. Oh, wow, quite of a uh, quite of a month is is what you're gonna have for what it seems, guys, and it is about a a breakthrough. It's all about these cards are talking about. Like I said, quite of a turn is what we do have when the star card appeared. And uh, in my country, we do have an expression to do something out of nothing, right? So it's it's what you're going to make. So yeah. Well, I don't know if that sounds, if that makes sense, but this is an expression here. It's it's more like a to do something out of nothing. It means to to do something against the odds, okay? To to persevere into a or to succeed into a, an endeavor, even though the odds were close to none. So the first card here, which stands for the topic, it's the Five of Swords. So uh, a little bit of a rough topic, though, the first thing I want to uh, clear out is that the Five of Swords sometimes could stand for a humiliation, right? You are, you know, being humiliated either by your boss, either by, the, by your colleagues, either by, you know, your partner in, in life and etc, etc. Now, exactly this cornering situation where your back is against the wall is going to provoke um, these enormous i would I, I can't say energies you know but enormous um desire for life or for to be better i don't know how to describe it really 
so take it like this for example you know you get humiliated by a colleague of yours and you pick pick yourself together and you determine that you are simply going to shove into their face that they were wrong right so they say you're worth for nothing well you prove them wrong throughout the month that you're worth more than anybody around you knew all right uh, it's it's something like that the five of swords as well it represents um clearance in a sense of that you have to be very careful whom you are siding with okay because uh not everybody around you wishes you the best even if they seem that does wish you uh wish you the best but the five of swords points that you will be quite aware as well of where your capabilities are and how big your capabilities are as well and you're gonna make the most of it and this most of it is actually going to be the breakthrough that you require either career-wise or either relationship-wise as well the accompanied card here is going to be the tree of wands so the formation it is a active friends that we do have guys and with the tree of wands it does look like that actually uh, you are to strive toward new conquests here rec recognizing that your capabilities are far beyond of what you are doing right now the tree of wands represents <clears throat> with the five of swords here does represent the awareness that actually no one can take away anything from you and all these hostility that you are maybe experiencing it is provoked by the fact that these people in reality um how can i describe it, it materially are completely incapable to alter in any way either your relationship or either into your career and the only way how they can influence you know your situation is by making you feel bad and it is what they're gonna try to do you know so uh, you have to completely ignore what the rest are thinking of you or are thinking of your endeavors you know and recognize that you do have solid patterns that you do have a quite a very good foundations to step on which requires to be a little bit of a uh, solidified all right and then uh, it's time for you to actually start thinking of how you can expand on those things all right expanding on your career or expanding on your um on your relationship or maybe in both the uh, next card is going to be in regards to the peripheral activities and that will be the nine of swords uh, so the nine of swords here stands as those quite tedious it's not tedious um well i would say issues or tasks which you are for one or another reason quite reluctant to uh, to take on but exactly this provocation that you are going to go through all right being provoked is going to simply make you stop caring you know of what could be the consequences of uh, attending to those um to those tasks and to those endeavors which are sitting peripheral and which you know can or it, they can they can or cannot be uh, attended to uh, in the sense of that you are not obliged you know to do anything about it now one thing i want to say here that uh it's um it's possible that you taking on these endeavors and sorting them out could inflict a lot of pain to people around you so you got to be careful how you how you uh, with your touch i'm sorry and it will require some sort of a surgical precision when it comes to dealing with those stuff the accompanied card here is going to be the um, page of swords formation it is a active supporters and it has something to do with uh, with secrets okay it has something to do with um, how spoken truth if i may say it that way that you know the other half of the truth it's not different than for example you have a very good friend of yours all right uh someone that you really really love and they are in a relationship and suddenly one day you go to drink your coffee somewhere in a cafeteria and you see their boyfriend kissing another girl right or her, the, their girlfriend kissing another boy so you do have that information and you you simply these provocations throughout the month will make you stop caring uh you know and uh you are going to see that people are cynical and and, uh, and hypocrites so you cannot allow this thing to go 
and therefore you are to divulge this information or you have the urge to do so while you're not obliged to do so this will inflict pain you know so the, the, such kind of a uh, peripheral activities that regards to information are um, you to have the option to involve yourself in so the next thing it is about the uh, challenges here and we do have the five of pentacles so the challenge it is what i said at the start to do something out of nothing or to do the things against all odds so the challenge here it is you to address every single uh, matter in your life which are making you feel insecure unstable threatened all right so if you feel uh that your position into your career is threatened all right or it's it is insecure you very well will know the cause why you know it is uh threatened and insecure and you have to address that issue with these uh, with this drive that you're gonna have thanks to the provocations that you're gonna face from your colleagues for example all right or same thing is to into your relationship so you do um you do being provoked by your partner, your relationship is quite unstable, you know the reason and you stop caring anymore. I mean, what could be worse than that, you know? So you are to address those issues which are making, or you should address those issues which are making um, your relationship unstable. It's gonna take quite of an effort and determination that is. I mean, this is a, a challenge and you may, like I said, you are to feel very reluctant to do so for one or another reason. And as a challenge, the challenge itself does not reside in resolving the issues. It resides into a challenging or rather um, addressing those, uh, those issues. The accompanied card here, it is the uh, Knight of uh, Cups. And the formation, it is a passive friends that we do have. So with the Knight of Cups, uh, it's, it's about taking on the steeds and um, uh, basically putting something like an ultimatum the things either going to be the way that suits you or they're not going to be at all so yeah especially if we're talking about relationships here guys uh, it will be like a slamming your fistful on the table and say look this this simply doesn't suit me all right it's or that will be the challenge here to address this ultimatum this simply doesn't suit me either we're gonna have it that way or, uh, or that way the least you know or we're not gonna having that relationship at all and um, don't get me wrong that is not something granted all right as a challenge this is something that you have to overcome this is something that you need to initiate should you not do so uh, you are too afraid too much to lose this person like for example you know if that person is cheating on you doesn't treat you well it's like you benefit of something having them by your side you know it's just I don't know, people, I am sometimes amazed why people were going through so much turmoil and torment to have someone next to them that doesn't, that doesn't even love them, you know, it's, it's just, it's baffling. But anyway, so yeah, uh, you have to basically, how can I describe it? Um, be humble about the, uh, about the whole process here. You are either going to have it better or you're not going to have it at all but not gonna having it at all is going to clear up a room to have it with someone or with something else and so that leads us to the next card here virgo which is the positive aspect and that will be the star card and now we get to the good stuff guys so the star card promises hope it's obvious the star card promises a um growth as well like in an unfoldment something that you are to look forward to some fulcrum that you are to narrow here uh the star is also a, a sign of um ending of an era of a turmoil problems conflicts and these kind of stuff but only if you fulfill the previous conditions and the conditions are quite rough and fearsome first you know you have to withstand the provocation in a sense of that to use it constructively instead of destructively what i mean you know someone insults you or someone humiliates you instead of falling into desperation and uh, <clears throat> despondency you need to mobilize yourself okay that is the first condition the second condition is to address and uh, put an ultimatum to the uh, to the recognized 
roots of the issues why things aren't going well. And only then the star card takes place, you know, where uh, it ends the era of your turmoil, of your problems, you know, of your despondency, one way or another, and it gives you a, a fulcrum and, and a thing for you to think of and to plan, you know, and to hang on into in general. The uh, accompanied card here is to be the lovers. The formation, it is a active supporters. So uh, one thing I could say about these cards is that you will have no doubt whatsoever that you took the right decision or that you made the right actions once you mobilize yourself and once you address the issues. That was the right thing to do and you will know it with the bottom of your heart and with the bottom of your soul. Additionally to that, once you do so, things are gonna become much more easier with these couple of cards, uh, whatever. Um, <clears throat> so those uh, relationships which are lacking harmony will no longer be in present there, so you're not gonna have that bad influence, all right? Uh, also, uh, there are a lot of problems that you do have previously are simply going to resolve on their own accord for the reason that they will no longer have that soil to grow and that soil to sustain since you addressed the soil itself, which is the root of the matter, okay? And also the lovers, especially if we're talking about relationship, it does point to flirting. I cannot say love, by the way, the lovers is quite misconcept. What I mean is that it's very wrongly understood, but I will get into that um, in a later stage. Just so to say the lovers, it's like a, um, it's like a test card, especially for newly forming relationships, because the lover tests how much the differences are make you special to one another. When you do have the lovers, you have more things that not common than the things that in common. So you do share different interests or rather not sharing, but you do have different interests, you do have different goals, you do have, you know, different expectations as well. And the lovers is a test how much those differences are make you special to one another. Usually 90% of the time, couple splits because they are simply saying, well, that person is way too different than me, all right? But some who persevere actually making one whole because the, the idea behind the lovers is that what you are not, your partner is, and what your partner isn't, you are. So you together, you know, bind and make one whole. Instead of making two things, you know, which are exactly the same, colliding with each other and simply uh, amplify, all right? But yeah, this is, behind, this is the philosophy behind a the lover's card, but definitely it points to some flirting, you know, and it points to some exhilarating experience as well, especially if you are undergo a, um, a, a breakup into your relationship that you cannot stand anymore, right? Either way is going to be a, a good thing for you. So the final card is the guidance here, and we do have the tower card, and the tower card, it does point that you need to simply ride the tide of the change. It's about transformation and it is about you not resisting this transformation, but instead embracing it. Like I said, the start is going to be rough. The conditions are going to be rough. Probably you will have to do things which you are in, in usual circumstances you ain't going to be proud of, all right? But that is the whole point of transforming yourself into something much better, much grown, much more mature as well, and uh, much more successful either. So uh, with the Tower card, is like I said, it's very important to recognize that you have to go through an, an unpleasant circumstances which needs to be cleared out so you can reach that end uh, end phase of the transformation where the nurturing and the growing effect is now taking place. The accompanied card here is going to be the Eight of uh, Pentacles formation. It is a uh, active neutrals that we do have. Um, you don't have to overthink it. It is, it is what the cards are pointing here. You don't have to try to control it, all right? Just go along with it. That is the secret here, all right? Your relationship demands an, an ultimatum. You know, one day you wake up and you decide that you are not happy into your relationship, but you know what is going to make you happy in this specific relationship. So you don't have to overthink it. You just confront your partner straight away down into the breakfast table, all right? You just tell them, look, I'm not happy. So 
in order for me to be happy, I just imagine to do this and to do that and to have such structure in there. And if he agrees, great. You know, if he doesn't, well, then you find someone that will. <laughs> it's, it's as simple as that. It's a transformation, guys, which at the end is going to have a, um, like I said, nurturing and healing effect upon you. But it's a, a transformation that you have to help it, basically. You need to give the first push in there. That is going to be provoked through uh, either a humiliation. Uh, betrayal is, uh, is way too uh, exaggerated to be said, but let's say betrayal of a trust, which is a different thing. Okay, it could be unfulfilled promise, all right? Uh, it could be as well a, a statement that was a lie and etc. etc. So that being said, Virgo, this was your monthly tarot reading for July 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And um, I hope that we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.